Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Marissa Ann, and you are watching Marissa Ann. <laughs> I need a good intro. Someone come up with something for me. So it's been a long time, no real video. My plan is to be a full-time influencer and um, travel the world, which is what I love to do. Um, I have 37 states out of 50, which I am so excited about, and I'm probably about to cross off another state this year, so I am so excited. Um, some updates, I am starting school at the University of Idaho, which I am really excited about. Um, I'm also being investigated for Cushing syndrome. So I'm doing a bunch of tests and stuff because if you don't know about Cushing syndrome, it causes a round face. Like this is not my normal face shape. It causes stretch marks and a whole lot of other things that are not good. I don't know how to hold this camera without my head being cut off. But anyways, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Um, I looked at my mental health records for the first time from when I was hospitalized over a year ago, and it sparked an idea. I know I've talked about writing a book before, but I kind of got an idea for a title. And because on the mental health records, it said that I had a quote unquote, fair chance of making it. And I am so much stronger than they put me down to be. And it's been over a year now since I've been in any mental hospital or anything. And I feel so much better. I worked so hard to improve myself because I was like, this is the only life I've been given. I have to do whatever I can to try to save my life and make a life worth living. And so that's what I did for over a year and what I continue to still do. And so I'm really, really proud of how much progress I've made. And like a year ago, if someone said they didn't like me, I would have wanted to unalive myself. And now if someone says they don't like me, I'm like, well, that's a you problem because you don't know me at all. So, um, but I also think it's good to be able to cry too and to allow yourself to have feelings. I saw this quote by Chloe Lukasiak and she said something along the lines of being able to cry is, shows that you have a tender heart in a difficult and sometimes cruel world. And I think that's so true. And, um, I'm just planning a bunch of new videos for you guys, like my diabetes story, like I had diabetes and then it went away, which is crazy, but also amazing. So I'm gonna do my diabetes story, my brain tumor update, cause we have an update on that. Um, update on, I'll probably combine the brain tumor update with my spinal update. And spinal, or actually, I'll just do the spinal update now. I've been having a lot of back pain and it goes and shoots down into my legs. And um, I went to a neurosurgeon to look at what was going on. And the neurosurgeon said that from my spinal fusion, one of the screws was too long. And so it's compressing nerves and touching a major blood or a major artery, I think it was, in my back. And she said that makes it, makes her unable to remove the screw that's too long because she said I would die if she tried to remove it. So um, I'm not totally convinced that it's unremovable because if, someone put it in, why can't they take it out? But I'm also scared because someone said that I would die if they took it out. So, um, yeah, that's that situation. So I'm in the process of trying to find another surgeon who feels more confident about being able to take it out. And in the 
Meantime, I was diagnosed with failed back surgery syndrome and chronic regional pain syndrome, which I might make a video about having CRPS to raise some awareness because it's a rare disease, but it is truly a horrible disease. I have to get ketamine infusions like every week just to keep me comfortable in addition to my pain medication. So, and in other news that's more lighter, I have not seen the Barbie movie yet. I really want to see it. It's so annoying because I finally convinced my mom to go see it with me. And the one day that we scheduled to see this movie, I had a ketamine appointment at one o'clock and it was an hour away from us because the clinic that's closer to us was closed for a couple weeks. So we go and the first ketamine infusion like totally fails. Like I don't feel anything. And I call the doctor in and I'm like, like I feel normal. Like I feel like I could drive a car. And she looked at me and she's like, yeah, you're like, you are totally sober. And so she called the ER doctor that's like in charge of like the ketamine clinic and everything. And he said to like redo it. And so we did it with another IV and another arm. I got poked eight times because this one guy kept blowing every vein that he got in. And literally the, la the head lady tried it once and got it. So I don't know why I kept letting him poke me. Like my ankle... He poked my ankle twice and it is so bruised all the way up and it is so sore. It's ridiculous. But um, we got the second ketamine done. I just remember thinking, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to be safe because I'm getting more ketamine than the recommended amount because the last ketamine went in, but it was just super weak. And the doctor said she'd only seen this happen once before, of course. And so I was nervous, but I was like hooked up to monitor so they would know if I was like dying or something. But I just remember like praying to God that it would be okay. And I woke up and I was fine. Um, except for the fact that I had a migraine and I felt a little nauseous. So other than that, like, I was fine. I highly recommend ketamine infusions if you have PTSD, severe depression, trauma, pain, um, any of those things. I've had so many ketamine infusions. I've been getting them for two years, and I've had one bad experience. So it really is safe, especially, <laughs> excuse me, especially if you research and do your research um, about the clinic that you're going to go to. So that was kind of like a side note. I've also been thinking about starting a podcast, but I don't know if you can really start a podcast with one person. So I don't know. And here's a PSA. Do not, <laughs> not use sun lotion. Like, this is my arm and I went to the pool for a couple hours and didn't use sunblock and it's crazy hot here. And at, for the first couple weeks, everything was like fine. And then all of a sudden my hands started peeling and then it peeled all the way up my arm. And so I love peeling the skin off when you get a sunburn. And I've done it many times before. And so I was just peeling it off and having fun. And then the next day, all of these scabs show up. And I'm like, what the heck? That's never happened before. And I'm the type of person that like can't stop myself from like picking at scabs. So I'm going to have to put like band-aids on all this so that I stop picking at it and it can heal. Um... Let's see what else, what else, what else? My little bunny had her third birthday today, or not today, August 8th. And sadly, 
This is an update from another video where I talked about my friend who had brain cancer. She passed away on May 6th and her first birthday in heaven was August 6th. So we miss you, Brooke. And she was just an incredible human being, wonderful person. She made everyone feel welcomed and loved. And I am still kind of in shock over what happened so yeah not to be a downer but um that's what happened to my friend and it's hard to believe and i don't really know how to grieve a friend so yeah it's hard summer used to be one of my favorite seasons but since my dad passed away in july and my friend passed away in May and then her birthday's in August. And then I had my favorite little bunny rabbit, Daisy. She had so much personality. She would play with the cats and everything. And she passed away in August too from a very traumatic thing. Essentially the vet gave her medication that made her like insides explode and she was in so much pain and it was so awful I literally started crying about it yesterday thinking about it but um sometimes I feel like I have like no personality and that I can't make it as an influencer because like all these influencers are like always oh, happy and like hey guys and that's just like not me like I am happy sometimes, but I can't like do the constant smiling and the high pitched voice. And I don't know, like, I feel like I'm just more, I don't want to say I'm more real, but I'm true to myself and who I am. So, um, anyways, the idea for this book came from looking at my mental health records and seeing I had a fair chance to live. And I think I want to name the title of my book, Fair Chance to Make It, because, and then describe, like, all the things that I did to, like, make it to the other side, like, advice for other people going through a similar situation, depression, mental health issues, anxiety, trauma, etc., and um, tell them in the story, like all the things that I have accomplished since then and all the things I would have missed had I been successful at unaliving myself and show that there is so much hope, but you just have to work for it. It doesn't come free, it doesn't come easy, but if you work and are dedicated to it, you will make it to the other side, there is hope. And I just want everyone to know that um, suicide is not the only way out. It's just not. Even if the situation that you're upset about, it doesn't um, turn around, there are other ways to cope. And once you become confident in yourself and know that you are a good person and that anyone would be lucky to have you in their life, that's when everything kind of falls into place, at least for me. So I would love for there to be some kind of guide that wasn't there for me. And if any of you guys have any tips or stories that you would like to share, I would love to include them in the book with your permission. And let's make this, you know, mental health destigmatized and let's try to help other people so let me know what you think about the title if you have any suggestions let me know and i think that's about it for right now so yeah thank you so much to everyone who has always supported me i really appreciate you i'm also thinking about getting a phone number for you guys to text me at so let me know if you'd be interested in that and yeah let me know if you are interested in any other types of videos or just like strictly health. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys.